Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a more in-depth look at the Explorer and Properties windows. If you don't already have the Explorer and Properties windows open, you can go to the View tab and enable them. The first window we're going to be working with is the Explorer. This shows us each aspect of our game. These categories are like folders that we can add things to, such as the workspace. If we click this little plus, it shows us the different things that we can add. Let's add a part. You may notice that this does the same thing as going up here and hitting the part button. Matter of fact, if we hit this part button, it will automatically show up in our workspace. The workspace category is most of the things we can see and interact with in our world. I'm going to rename the part I just added by right clicking on it and choosing the rename option. You can also select it and hit the F2 key on your keyboard to rename it. I'm going to call this part Magic Block, just like that, with a capital M and a capital B and no spaces. This is called Camel Casing, and it's used a lot in Roblox game development. Next, I want my part to look really mysterious and magical. Right now, it just looks like a plain old part, so I am going to add a sparkle effect to it. We can also add things to our part by pressing this plus button on the side or right clicking and selecting the insert object option. I'm going to go up here and search for the sparkle effect. Awesome. Now our part is starting to look very magical. We'll go over how to use each one of these categories in a later video, but for now, let's briefly go down the list. The Players category holds information about the players in your game. There's nothing here right now because our game isn't running, but if I go ahead and hop into my game and select the Players category, I can see that my character's information is added into Players. The next category is Lighting. This is where the lighting information of your game is held. After that, we have the three over here. Replicated first, server storage, and server script service. These options are more complicated and mainly used for scripting, so we'll save those for later. Server storage is one place you can store things in your game. If you add objects here, they won't be able to be seen by the player until you bring them into workspace. You can see when I drag my magic block into server storage, it disappears. Let's go ahead and bring it back to workspace. Starter GUI is where you put a lot of your UIs, and Starter Pack is where you put anything you want your player to load in with, such as tools. The Starter Player category is another one that is a little bit too complicated for this video, so we are going to save it. The last four of these options have uses in very specific situations, but you are free to go and play around with them. Now that we've gone over the Explorer, let's move on to the Properties window. The Properties window is where the settings of the things you select are held. Let's select my magic block again. Side note, if you ever end up losing anything in Workspace, you can click on it in the Explorer and press the F key to find it. Back to the Properties tab. We can see a whole bunch of options have shown up after I select my magic part. These are all things about our part, such as what color it is, whether we want it to cast a shadow or not, and a whole bunch of others. I'll show you a few important ones and you can have fun playing around with the rest. The first one is transparency. This controls how see-through your object is on a scale from zero to one one being invisible. I want my magic block to be just slightly see-through, so I'm going to set it to 0.15. The second option we're going to look at is the Can Collide option down under Behavior. This option allows us to pick if we want our player to be able to hit our part or just walk right through it. You can see when I uncheck this box and test the game, when my player tries to hit my block, I run right through it as if it wasn't even there. This option can be useful for things like doors that you want players to be able to see but not be affected by. I want my player to be able to run into my magic block, so I am going to leave that option checked. 
The last few things I want to change about my magic block are its material, color, and size. So let's scroll up here to brick color. Let's go with a mysterious dark purple. Then how about the material? Right now it's a default plastic. Let's change that to maybe a granite. Perfect. I want to make it a little bit smaller and maybe a little bit taller. Just like that. Hmm, I think I want to change the color of my sparkles to be just a little bit brighter. To do that, we'll just find the part in the Explorer and click the little arrow drop down and select the sparkle effect we added. Now we have the option to change the sparkle color. Let's try a light purple. There we go, that looks good. There's one final bonus change that I wanna to make to my world. Remember that lighting option in the Explorer that we talked about earlier? Now that we know about properties, we can play around with it. If we click on lighting, we see a bunch of lighting properties that we can play with. The one I wanna change is the clock time property. This property allows us to change the time of day in our workspace. When we drag around the slider, we can see that the time of day property changes. If you've ever played a game that has a day-night cycle, this is probably how they did it. I want my clock time to be around 6.2, or right around when the sun casts some really cool shadows. Now we have a very mysterious, magical-looking workspace. All right, now that you know how to use the Explorer and Properties tab to help you as you create, I challenge you guys to go create your own magic block and have fun playing around with all the different property options. I would love to see what you come up with. You guys can share your creations to the Simple Games hashtag on Twitter, at Simple Games, or comment down below and let us know what you made. <laughs>